Hi everyone, welcome to the Winsome Travels channel. If you're new here, this is a channel where I provide travel nuggets and mishaps that I face during my trips so that you can avoid them. In this video, I'll cover some of the things to do and see while you're in Cincinnati and hopefully convince you to visit. Cincinnati is the third largest city in Ohio and the 66th in the U.S. It is located in the southwestern part of Ohio and about 100 miles southeast of Indianapolis in Indiana and about 200 miles southwest of Columbus, Ohio. It is also about 500 miles southwest of New York City and about 300 miles southeast of Chicago. It is known for its diverse neighborhoods, cultural attractions, and sports teams. If you're planning a visit to Cincinnati, there are many things to do and see. Some popular attractions include the Cincinnati Zoo, the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center, and the Cincinnati Art Museum. Other points of interest include the Great American Ballpark, home of the Cincinnati Reds baseball team, the Baker Stadium, home of the Cincinnati Bengals football team, and the newly built TQL Stadium, which is home of the FC Cincinnati soccer team. Cincinnati has a rich history dating back to the late 18th century. The city was founded in 1788 and was named after the Society of the Cincinnati, a group of Revolutionary War officers. Cincinnati became an important transportation hub in the 19th century due to its location on the Ohio River and it developed into a major industrial city. It was home to many breweries, meat parking plants, and other manufacturing companies. In the 20th century, Cincinnati experienced a decline in its manufacturing industry, but it has since reinvented itself as a hub for healthcare research and education. It is now home to many major hospitals, universities, and research institutions. Cincinnati has a lot to offer to visitors, ranging from festivals, museums, murals, restaurants, and breweries. However, in this video, I'll cover some of the hidden gems that hopefully will convince you to visit Cincinnati. In the event that you're not convinced, my hope is that this list will be helpful if, for some strange reason, you find yourself in the Queen City. Cincinnati is a growing, vibrant Midwest city, and you don't need a reason to visit. However, I suggest you visit during the following events to fully experience the vast array of festivals, restaurants, breweries, pubs, thriving music and art scene, and everything else that the city has to offer. One popular event in Cincinnati is Oktoberfest Cincinnati. Held in September, the event celebrates Cincinnati's German heritage with live music, traditional German food, and of course, plenty of beer. The event occurs in mid-September and runs for three days. It is America's largest Oktoberfest with more than 700,000 people attending each year. Blink is another popular event. Blink is one of the nation's largest light art projection mapping experiences. Taking place in October, the Blink experience leverages innovative art and new technology to enable large-scale projection mapping, murals, and interactive light sculptures on the cityscape. The installation spans over 30 city blocks from OTR to Covington, Kentucky. Local food and drink vendors are usually present, so make sure you try some of the local cuisine. Another popular event is the PNC Festival of Light. Taking place at the Cincinnati Zoo, the PNC Festival of Lights is a three-month event. It runs from early November to early January. During this period, this zoo is transformed into a wild wonderland enhanced by the beauty of about 4 million LED lights. The festival is perfect for an evening, date, or for the whole family. In addition to a chance to see over 500 animal species, this zoo Zoo has other events such as wild light show, visit with Santa, and roasting s'mores among other activities. If you're a sports fan, you wouldn't want to miss the Reds opening day and or the Bengals game day. The Reds opening day is a special tradition in Cincinnati. It is sort of an unofficial holiday. Dating back to the late 19th century, the Reds has been the only major league baseball team given the privilege of starting every season at home. Celebrations kick off with the Finley Market opening opening day parade followed by local parties across town. A popular spot for such parties is the Banks, which is a designated outdoor refreshment area or Dora in short. This means that you can walk outside the bars within Dora with an alcoholic beverage in a Dora approved cup. The Banks, just outside of the Great American Ballpark, is a great place to pregame and catch up with some friends before the Reds game. 
You can also cut the free street car, the Cincinnati Bell Connector, if you would like to pregame in a different part of town within the city. You would not want to miss a Cincinnati Bengals game if American football is your cup of tea. The Bengals are currently the reigning champions of the American Football Conference, FC North, and were finalists in the 2022 Super Bowl season. During a game day, the atmosphere at the Packers Stadium is electric. There is plenty of entertainment through the concourse live music, activities for kids, photo ops, and lots to eat and drink. The stadium is easily accessible and walkable from most of the establishments in downtown. If you're driving into the city, you're better off parking across the river in Covington, Kentucky and taking the $1 trolley or walking across the Roebling Suspension Bridge. Other events that are worth checking include the Taste of Cincinnati, which is a food festival held in May that features more than 50 local restaurants offering samples of their best dishes. Another event that's worth checking out is the Cincy Beer Fest, which is an annual event held in February and features more than 500 different craft beers from around the country. If you have time to explore the city, I would advise that you visit uh, Cincinnati's neighborhoods. One popular neighborhood to check out is the Over the Rhine District, commonly known as OTR. If you're only in the city for one weekend, you should spend more time in OTR. OTR is known for its 19th century century architecture, including Finley Market, which has a variety of food and craft vendors. Although OTR used to be one of the most crime-ridden and dangerous neighborhoods in the entire U.S., the neighborhood is now a vibrant home to a variety of shops, bars, restaurants, and other business establishments. Finley Farmer's Market is home to Ohio's oldest market. The best time to visit Finley Market is on a Saturday morning. It's a great place to shop for unique, fresh produce and meats from various vendors, grab lunch or brunch at neighboring restaurant, chocolate tasting, wine tasting, tea tasting, or listen to live music while having a cold pint of your favorite Rhine Geist beer. Don't forget to end your tour with a creamy scoop of Dojo Gelato's ice cream. Another neighborhood that's worth visiting is Mount Adams. Mount Adams offers a great view of downtown and northern Kentucky. If you have been to Europe, a walk through the street of Mount Adams will awaken a feeling of being in a little European town. There are several restaurants in Cincinnati. However, I suggest you try the following restaurants because they offer a unique experience, they're unique to Cincinnati, and they offer a better bang for your buck. We have the Vinoclet Winery, which is located about 20 miles from downtown Cincinnati. Vinoclet Winery is Hamilton County's only working winery as of the time of this recording. It has over 12,000 vines across 30 plus acres of rolling hills and cones. A dinner at the winery includes wine tasting, a bottle of wine of your choosing after the wine tasting, grilling your own choice of meat as part of a three course meal. If you're lucky, you could catch a band playing live music or a Shakespeare play. Additionally, the winery hosts the Vinoclet Art Wine Festival for a weekend, which runs Friday to Sunday in early September. At the festival, 15,000 visitors get to enjoy great wine, art, live music, and food in a picturesque setting, while more than 40 artists exhibit and sell their work each year. Another restaurant worth trying is Alfio's Buon Cibo. Located in High Park Square, Alfio's offers Italian Italian dishes with an Argentinian twist in an intimate setting. Alfio's is by far one of my favorite Italian restaurants in Cincinnati. The place is always booked, so make sure you make your reservation early in advance. Another amazing Cincinnati restaurant is Taste of Belgium. Unique to Cincinnati, Taste of Belgium offers Americanized Belgian food or Belgianized American food. It is known for its waffles, chicken, and beer. Known for its bistro style, Taste of Belgium has locations in various neighborhoods of Cincinnati. Cincinnati offers a lot of options for an evening or a night out. You may have noticed so far how we love being in this town. You can visit some of the city's biggest breweries, including Ryan Guys, 50 West, Urban Artifact, and Matri Brewing, just to mention a few. There are also some eclectic bars that offer great experience, such as Somerset, Vodka Bar, and Ghost Baby. We also have the Pendleton Art Center, popularly known as Pack. Pack is an eight-story warehouse that houses more than 200 different artists. The Pack is known for its monthly open studio walks called Final Fridays, whereby guests can see hundreds 
of artist studios and buy art directly from the artists. What could be a better way of seeing different types of art interacting with different artists while sipping a glass of wine on a Friday evening? Another place to check out is the Fountain Square. There's always something going on at the Fountain Square. Activities range from bingo, live music, art exhibition to watching a Reds or a Bengals game on the big screen. If you're in town during the summer, be sure to check out Salsa on the Square on Thursday evening. Winter is a good time for skating or riding the bumper cars on the ice rink. This already sounds like a packed schedule. Sounds like there's a lot to do. Um, as I mentioned earlier on, Cincinnati has a lot to offer than you think. Whether you're in the Queen City for a good time or a long time, you'll not be disappointed. Cincinnati offers varied in indoor and outdoor activities throughout the year. It's always a festival time in Cincy and you'll find vibrant cultural celebrations, fairs and concerts no matter what time of the year you visit. I'd like to hear from you about your favorite things in Cincinnati. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to know about Cincy and I can cover it in one of my next videos. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more travel videos. Until the next one, bye! Hey!